After around 14 days, what remains in the bio-drying area is a more stable, sanitized, shredded and dried waste. It is practically odor-free and can be safely and more easily processed. This material is then transferred to the refinement area of the plant where it is sorted by mechanical separators into five fractions. Solid recovered fuel, aggregate replacement, ferrous metals, non-ferrous metals and compostable fines. The initial separation is done by a trommel, a large rotating drum. This separates the material into two fractions less than 20 mm diameter and greater than 20 mm diameter. Solid recovered fuel or SRF is in both fractions and contains materials such as plastics, paper, textiles, wood and cardboard. These materials are the lighter fraction of the waste streams and are separated using air classifiers to blow them into a separate waste stream. The solid recovered fuel is further shredded to increase burning efficiency based on customer requirements and then compacted into lorries ready for transport. With an energy value of around two-thirds that of coal, this SRF can be used as a replacement fossil fuel by industrial processes such as cement kilns or directly combusted at an appropriate facility to produce electricity. The finer fraction of the material from the trommel moves on to a vibrating sieve. A compostable fraction called fines falls through the sieve and this material is the organic fraction of the waste and could be composted to produce a soil conditioner for use in landfill restoration or land reclamation. The remainder of the material from the sieve goes through a drum separator where a blow nozzle creates an air current which separates light and heavy fractions. The heavy fraction consists of inert material including glass, ceramics and stone. It has a gravel-like consistency and is known as aggregate replacement. It could, with further treatment, be used for purposes such as drainage, the sub-base on roads or on landfill sites. Ferrous metals such as steel cans and old cutlery are separated at various stages of the process with magnets and sent for recycling. Non-ferrous metals such as aluminium cans, foil and aerosols are segregated using an eddy current separator here an electric current is set up to produce a magnetic field which repels conducting metals. Because non-ferrous metals are repelled more than ferrous metals, the non-ferrous metals such as aluminium tend to jump higher away from the magnetic field and are collected separately for recycling.